In this video, I'm going to show you how I pack my backpack. I have here my Z-Pax Arc Blast 55 liter, and it is empty, there's nothing in it. Here I have my Enigma uh, 10 degree down sleeping quilt. I have my Climate Insulated Static Velux SL sleeping pad, a 5 liter clothing bag stuff sack, my Dan Durston tent, a foam pad that I use uh, that I place under my sleeping pad, my food bear bag which is empty. I'm going to show you how I pack that with all these items over here. And uh, slightly off camera, well actually off camera, I have items up here uh, that will go on the outside of the pack and I'll show you that uh, when I bring them into view. Okay, so the first thing I want to do here is to get my food bag packed up first. Okay, so what I have over here, first of all, is my uh, Tokes liter pot and inside of that I have uh, my rocket pocket uh, stove I have uh, two big lighters and a fuel canister so I'll put that in there and also have a little scouring pad to for cleaning so we'll get that in there. Let's get the stove packed in. The big lighters and the scouring pad. And that scouring pad really helps keep uh, everything from rattling around inside when I'm hiking. And I'll pop this inside of the uh, stuff sack that the uh, Tox pot came with. Okay, so I'm going to put that in the food bag first. I have, um, this is a little stand that uh, allows me to sit the fuel canister on. My collapsible cup. I have a, uh, some toilet paper, some hand sanitizer, and a uh, face rag inside this bag. Pop that in there. I have uh, my rock sack. And my first aid kit, I also put that in there. I have uh, some other items here. Uh, toothpaste, toothbrush, some shaving cream, some gold bond powder, razor. Insect repellent, sunscreen. coffee, cream, sugar, a couple of cliff bars, a couple of hand warmers, and my spork, long handled spoon. Now, when I put everything in this uh, backpack, the uh, pack weight is about 16 pounds, so by the time I add additional food to this, maybe a couple pounds of food, my pack weight should be approximately 20 pounds, and that's about where I like it. So, assuming I've packed inside my food bear bag two more pounds of food, and I'll go and get it all rolled up. And this is a stuff sack. I like getting all the air out of it. Okay, so now I can start packing my backpack. Now the first thing that goes in first is my quilt. I put my quilt in a uh, waterproof stuff sack. That's the first thing that goes in because it's the 
really the last thing I'll be pulling out once we get into camp. So let's get that in here. Next thing that goes in will be the uh, sleeping pad. Then my five liter clothing bag. have a, um, a foam pad. I like placing this foam pad underneath my sleeping pad. It's very lightweight. So we'll get that stuff in there as well. And then the next item to go in is the food bag. Once I have that food, oops, one more item. I have a, uh, this climate um, air pump. I'll pop that in there as well. Okay. Once I have those items in there, I have a, a liner inside of the backpack. I'll go ahead and uh, get that closed up. pushed out of it. my tent on top because when I get to camp that's the first thing that's going to come out is my tent okay and still plenty of room on the top and I'll get that uh, sealed up again get all the air pushed out straps that nice and tight okay so that's everything that's inside of the backpack now the next items will go on the outside Okay, I'm going to turn the pack around and place items I want on the outside of the pack. And these are items that I want to be easily accessible. So, the first thing I'm going to throw in here is my uh, Tyvek. It's very lightweight. I use this as my tent footprint. The slide started there nicely. The next item is my sit pad. We'll get that down in there. Then my tent stakes. My trowel, some toilet paper, some wet wipes.
and I carry at a minimum when I'm hiking my rain jacket. I'm not going to pack any rain pants uh, because the clothing that I wear really is quick dry and I always carry an extra set of uh, clothes in that 5 liter clothing bag should I need them. Okay, that's basically on the outside in this uh, mesh pouch here. Now, I also have some clogs here that I will clip to the outside of the mesh. And I'll stuff these inside. These are my camp shoes. Also, I have another pair of camp shoes. They're water shoes. They work fine as well. But uh, I'm putting these on here because uh, I'd like to try them out. All right. Now, I do have a hip belt pouch right down here. And in this, I have um, another Z Packs bag that I can place um, my phone in, wallet, credit cards, cash, whatever. It's waterproof. And I'll pop that inside there. I have my night cord night lamp. I also have a knife, which I didn't bring out here, that I'll put in here. I have plenty of room in here for snacks as well. So a couple cliff bars, candy, gum, whatever. But that's what goes out here. Or a map, compass. And I'll zip this up. Okay, I got that. Next is my water filtration system, which is my Ketadyne B Free. It's a one liter. I love this. It's lightweight, easy to use. I simply Fill up water and squeeze it into an empty smart water bottle and good to go. So I'll stuff that in the pouch on the outside. And lastly, I carry a smart water bottle and I'll pop it here. And it has this pack has a little clip here that allows you to secure it even more. And that's it. I don't even think this is this is 20 pounds. And I still have room inside here to, uh, to add additional clothing or other items that I feel I might need, such as say some rain pants or any other items that I think uh, I might need out on the trail for an overnighter or overnighters. But that's it. It's really simple. Okay, I hope this helps. You guys take care.